right, so good. Took a break, came back to do some Vikings. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying your day. I just finished um, watching one of the saddest episodes of TV shows I've ever watched. Um, I have to say, The Walking Dead. But we're moving on. Thank God I decided to do it the first reaction I did because I don't know if I would have been, you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes you like to get that stuff out of the way so you can move on to more enjoyable stuff for the day. I mean, if that was the last thing I did, I would be thinking about it the entire night. So I'm happy that I did it first. Um, did an incredible job on that episode. So, yeah, so Vikings. We're going to see what the aftermath of some more sadness in this in in, in this episode of Vikings here. Uh, what is it? Season 5 episode, what, 16 or 17? I think it's 17, right? 17, yeah. E episode 17. So we're going to see what's going to happen now with the... Um, what is going to be the aftermath of Judith taking out her own son, Aethered. Uh It was tragic. You know, man, Judith surprised me and that's not something that i don't think i've ever said that <laughs> judith actually surprised me that in, in episode 16 of you know what i'm saying taking out her own son man uh it's like yo alfred is blessed homie you know what i'm saying like you 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 cut you you trying to take out alfred no you go first <laughs> yeah i'm saying so um other things Bjorn is 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 with King Harold. Harold is feeling some sort of way. Somebody made a pretty interesting comment on the last last video talking about King Harold has always been slighted by these. So you know, legitimate there is legitimacy to his hate towards Ragnar's son, and I I agree. I agree. You know what I'm saying? I agree. And he's always been slighted. Um, you know, now that what I, I think he wanted that that woman too, and she ended up going with Bjorn. So it's like, yo, they get everything around here, man. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if I was King Harold, I'd be like, damn, bro, let me have something. I I've been helping y'all, man. I, I helped your dad. <laughs> I helped your dad, man. And now y'all just come, y'all just taking everything, man. Let a brother have something, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, anyways, uh, yeah, that's how I feel like King Harold feel, man. Let me have something, man. I'm out here fighting too. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Um, you know, and that just goes to show you, man, like, um, when it comes on to certain things in life, you know what I'm saying? When you see, like, other people seems like they're, you know, you work your ass off, but you see that other people are like blessed. Everything just comes easy for them. It's very easy to fall in a place of envy, you know, jealousy. You know, it's very easy to form resentment, even if it's friends. It's very easy. And you really got to like find a way to push forward and push past it. You know what I'm saying? to achieve your own that's one of one of the things that i've struggled with in life i'm not afraid to say it you know um i i was one of those people who you know see my friends you know my seeing my friends growing up having kids having a great life being successful and stuff like that and i wasn't at that level yet now i'm at that level and i'm real and i'm now i'm at that level and i'm realizing Oh crap. Um uh, you know what I'm saying? Like you're looking at you like okay, they're there and, and what you valued or what you saw them doing as success or what you were looking at as successful, it wasn't really success. It was really that's not what you was I was jealous of. It was really growth. I was jealous of the growth of them Life was just moving forward for them and moving in the direction that they wanted it to go. 
and mine, no matter how hard I try, was like, I'm being held back. I'm being held back. And I'm really, I was really jealous of the growth. You know what I'm saying? Not necessarily the success that they, that they had. You know what I'm saying? It was the growth. It was like, you know what I mean? And now that I'm here and I'm, and I'm like, well, it's not that all cracked up and it's supposed to be, you know what I'm saying? Like I have so much more knowledge now, um, you know, building wealth and all of this other stuff is just like, you know, some of those same people come to me for help. You know what I'm saying? And it is what it is. You know what I mean? It is what it is. They weren't shoving it in my face and I'm not shoving it in their face in, in by any means necessary. It's just, it is what it is now. So it just, I can understand things from King Harold's <laughs> perspective for sure. But let's go watch this episode, man. And I will see you guys for the review. Okay, so here I go. Here I go. Review Vikings Season 5 Episode 17. Man, um, you know, I have a lot to say about Vikings right now. It's not popping. And and I know you might not agree or you might, you know, you might agree with, with what I'm saying, but it's really not popping. They have really watered down the series. And I think, I don't know. I'm just saying this, but I feel like after Ragnar's death, they didn't know what the hell to do with the show. You get what I'm saying? Like, they just kind of finished up season four and just kind of... I'm not saying that there ain't no great episodes after that. I'm not saying that. I'm saying the, writer, the writing for the show has really whittled down. 20 episodes is a lot of episodes to write a great story for a season. Believe you me when I say this. The first half of the season was very good. I would give it a good like 7, maybe even 8 out of 10 for the first half of the season. These next 10 episodes, there was one good, one really good episode. And that was episode 15. With where the fight and I love the symbolism and all of that stuff that happened. If they're setting something up, they need to do it quickly. You got three more episodes to go in the season. And I don't know what they're setting up. Is there going to be another battle? Is Bjorn going to attack Kattegat? Is that what's going to happen for the end of the season? These love... I think this is one of my biggest gripes with what's going on right now. It's just people People just fall in love. What the... What, 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 it, it never happens like it, it never happens like that things the way how the narrative that they're pushing when it comes on to love stories it just never happens like that i don't believe it has i mean maybe you know maybe one in a billion you know what i'm saying it never happens like that this woman literally two episodes ago i don't know how much time has passed because I don't know how time works in the show anymore. You get what I'm saying? Even if it's months that has passed since 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 then, it's still, in my opinion, still not. We never saw her grief. She literally got captured from the battle and literally seems like she, she wanted Bjorn from the get-go. Whatever, man. So... Oh, so another another love story that doesn't make any sense. We have no update on Lagatha. Doesn't seem like Bjorn even cares anymore that Lagatha let Lagatha is missing. You get what I'm saying? So it's like all these for, for stuff that is going on right now. Just it just the storyline is just not making any sense. What is this leading up to? Why is, I get why Ivar is sending Vitzerk away. I get it. I really do. I really do get why he's sending him away because he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to kill him. He wants to be merciful because he thinks he's a god now, <laughs> right? For some strange reason, Ivar thinks he's a god now, right? In any situation that's that's right right now, we got brothers fighting against brothers. Why is that narrative not being pushed a lot more? I don't know. Ube has found peace with where he's at and I'm happy for him because 
You know what I'm saying? All of them are different, and I get that. All the sons are different. They have little parts of Ragnar here and there, and that's fine, right? Um, King Harold just out here acting like the, the biggest simp of all time. Like, he must get the award for biggest simp of all time. I, I, this is the worst king ever. The man does not act kingly in any way at all. Every time he gets slighted by a woman, every time, he forced Astrid to marry him, basically forced her to marry him. This man is the biggest simp of all time, man. <laughs> I swear. You know, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm ranting because I really would love for this show. And so many people have told me that the show is not going well right now. It's not good. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm trying to, ref to, to not listen to people who are telling me that. You know what I'm saying? Because even people in my personal life that is watching Vikings right now tell me, yo, this, this series is shitty right now. You know, it went from good to not so good. You know what I'm saying? So they're, they're feeling it. They're feeling it. And I'm trying to go against that so much to try to find some meaning in what's going on right now. And I can see the dilution. I can really see the dilution of the show. I really can see the, the, the watered the watered down writing. It's very palpable. It's very, I don't know what, I don't know the lessons they're trying to teach. I mean, the most interesting storyline right now, it seems like, is the Floki storyline that has nothing to do with the main story right now. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, what is this leading up to? I hope, hopefully they, they pick it up. This is by no means me saying that the show is completely not interested. There are some stuff that are still interesting about the show. I'm just saying, if I should not be critical about one thing um, in this, I love what they, what the conversation between Bjorn and this lady, I can't remember her name, Helen, or Helvin, Helvin, I don't remember her name. They, they said it a couple of times during the episode, I don't remember. But, right, the situation with her, I love the conversation they had, because in my opinion, I feel like that's a really good definition. It's not a precise definition of what you feel when you're in love, but it is a very good explanation of how you feel when you're in love with another person. You get what I'm saying? It's like you're constantly thinking about thinking about the person, um, not necessarily infatuation. Infatuation is more like a unrequited love. So it's like you are, and it's not lust either. A lot of people think infatuation is lust, but it's, it's really not. It's not lust. Infatuate, being infatuated with somebody is just really unrequited love. So it's like you love a person, but they don't see you. You get what I'm saying? They don't see you. They don't recognize you. Um, you might be in their life. Basically, you're in the friend zone, if you want to call it that. Friend zone, basically infatuation, to put it in simple terms, right? Lusting is a whole different thing. Lusting is more erotic lusting you get what i'm saying lusting after somebody is more erotic you want to do stuff to them you want to you know you, you know what i'm saying you want to have sex with them that's what lusting is all about um so that's the difference when it when it comes on to them explaining that they did a very good job of the how the conversation went you know what i'm saying of he's like i don't know i'm afraid and that's the that's the feeling you get love is not necessary it's a bold thing but it's also a frail thing you get what i'm saying so you're gonna feel it's very mixed and that's why a lot of times you're not really certain you're afraid of what the other person is feeling because you don't want to be heartbroken so you don't want to confess 
that you love that person and that person is like, you, I don't feel the same way, get out of my face. You don't want that, so you're afraid. So I love that conversation. I think that was the best thing about the entire episode. <laughs> I think that was the best thing they did in the entire episode, even though it was kind of like a flash forward love kind of thrown together to put on the screen. But it was still a great conversation. As I said, um, that was the best thing during best conversation in the episode. The most interesting thing was was Ube and Tour V talking to King Al Alfred because the Danes are coming, right? So Ube is 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 wants to be the head of the army because Aethelred is dead, and I think that's the best choice at this point, to be honest. Um, I don't think they have an turn. I don't think they have a, um, a alternate motive. I don't. I don't think so. I don't think they they're planning something. I don't think. I think Ube is 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 just trying to chill. You know what I'm saying? Um, and just help out in any way that he can. And that's fine. I'm happy for him. Anyways, thank you guys so much for listening. As always, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you leave a like. Make sure you leave a comment. And also, subscribe if you're new. I know not the series has really been watered down right now. You can see my gradual distaste for the for the the series. And I really don't didn't want to be ranting about it, but it's like they need to pick it up. They need to pick it up. But anyways. I'm out. Peace.